Kelly McCormick has moved up into second place. She was in third after the first dive. Now she has moved into contention with Megan Nyer for the gold medal. And let's go. Kelly McCormick is out there right now, and here is Jim Nance. Oh, no. That's great. And, uh, probably after the uh, required dives or whatever. Stand by, guys. Go, guys. Go. Go, guys. Turn in. So here are the standings through two dives, and we are looking now at Kelly McCormick, who has scored 8.5s and 9s on her first two dives. Phil Boggs and uh, off to a terrific start here. They were great dives, both of them, Jim. She is confident, strong, looks good diving. We've got up this time a reverse dive in the pike position. Remember, these first five rounds of dives are easy dives. They're demonstrating their basic skills. Very poised and relaxed to this point. She has really hit those first two as we... She's looking over right now at the referee for a whistle. Once they announce the dive, the referee blows a whistle indicating the diver can start. The diver can't start before that whistle. How much concentration does she lose here? It's a break, but you turn around and focus again. Sometimes it's relaxing. Oh. Another great dive, John. Just a little bit past vertical, but what a jump off the diving board. Kelly McCormick, at age 25, Olympian, silver medalist in 84. And 8.5s and 8s for Kelly McCormick. Remember in diving, anything better than a 7 is good. Watch her jump off the diving board. Way up in the air, touches, and just a little bit over rotation at the bottom, but a great dive. Get a little pointers what happened, what they need to do. Well, let's get everyone up on the standings now. This was through three rounds. Megan and I are leading Kelly McCormick second. We just saw Debbie Fuller third coming into this round. Now, this is McCormick. This is an inward one and one half somersaults in a pike position. She'll somersault towards the diving board. McCormick and Nyer have been playing, can you top this? And that was great. Nyer got nines for her round. You could see some more here for McCormick. Another great dive. Let's explain that in the first five dives, Phil, there are some requirements on the part of the divers. What the divers do in five rounds, look at those scores, some eights and some nines, is they demonstrate their basic skills. They go each of the five directions you can go off of a diving board. And he, see uh, Kelly getting some coaching there. This is an inward somersaulting towards a board. Watch the entry straight in, the last thing the judges see. That dive by McCormick, good enough to put her in the first place now ahead of Megan Dyer through four rounds here at the Pan Am Games. And we'll return in just a moment. Welcome back to the women's springboard final here at the Pan Am Games. This beautiful facility here, the Indiana University Natatorium, where in the next eight days we're going to have four diving finals. Of course, the great one, Greg Luganis, will be competing here. And in the swimming competition, 32 events, including Olympic gold medal winners Michael Bryan and Kerry Steinseifer will be here. Now through four dives, McCormick has taken the lead over Megan Nyer, and Nyer is ready now to begin the fifth round of the competition. This is round five. It's the last round of the easy dives. And Meg's last dive is an inward one and one half somersaults. That's what we saw Kelly finish up round four with. They can do them in any order. That's the only strategy that's allowed in this particular part of the competition. And once we get to round six? Then you see optionals. They do their most difficult somersaulting and twisting dives. Another good dive. A little bit over rotation. Won't be the nines, but at least eights. And remember in diving, anything better than seven is good. So that was another very good dive. Good scores, too. They'll throw out the 9 and the 7.5, and 50 points total for Megan Nyer here in the fifth round. You can see the same advantages for both Nyer and McCormick. Both are very strong. Both are very quick. You can see one and a half somersaults straight in on the entry. Coach Ronnie O'Brien, who, of course, coaches so many members of the United States team. Including Greg Luganis, and is our head Olympic coach for 1988. Brings up Kelly McCormick. A little short on that one, Phil. A little bit short, but still basically five for five on the first five rounds of competition. She's going to stay right close to Nyer with that one. 
Nair has already excelled on her dive in the fifth round. Cormick picks up 49 points and she'll stay in first through five rounds. But it leaves them virtually tied going into those optional dives. Watch the power. You saw Fuller go off the diving board. Look how much higher McCormick gets. Just opened up a little bit early, just a little bit short of vertical. All right, we're through five rounds. It's McCormick followed by Nyer. Let's go back to the CB. All right, thank you very much, Brent. I'll tell you, you can't get much closer than this. Only one point separating Americans Kelly McCormick and Megan Nyer after six dives. And Nyer has already attempted her dive here at round seven. Yeah, this is her seventh dive. It's a back two and a half somersault pike, the most difficult somersaulting dive used by a woman in competition backwards. And watch the finish. Little bit short, but pulls it around and ends up with a great entry. Now, Kelly McCormick, gold medalist in this event in Caracas, 1983. And she, what will she need here? 69 points to take over the lead from Nyer. That's, that's eights, all eights, and she's gonna get 72 points and move ahead by a fraction. Same dive as Nyer did, a very good dive. This is gonna be close, Jim. That looks like maybe seven and a halves. Put Nyer in the lead this round by a little bit. She's looking at the scoreboard as we are waiting for the judges to post the totals. That's her coach telling him, I'll take it. That is a difficult dive. Same optional that most of the men use in competition. These are two strong women divers. She is six tenths of a point behind no. Megan Nyer. And <laughs> I didn't think you could get any closer than 1.2 points after six rounds, but they've done it. This is just, can you match this? I said, can you top this? It looks like it's, can you match this? It's almost a replay of Nyer's dive. You can see her somersault back towards us, pull into that tight pike. So we have three rounds remaining. Boy, what a competition we have. Let's go back to the broadcast center and Brent Musburger. All right, Jim, uh, it certainly cannot get any closer than that. Jim Nance and Phil Boggs back at the Indiana University Natatorium, and we're again through seven rounds. Megan Nyer leading Kelly McCormick by six-tenths of a point. McCormick now ready to dive in round eight. Same dive that Nyer used earlier in the round. Oh, she ripped that one. That was a great dive. She may move into the lead this time. scored eights and 8.5s and <laughs> we are talking again folks a difference of 1.3 points Nyer will stay in front all that just behind all that means is a half from any judge along the way made the difference in that one point because it's multiplied by the degree of difficulty look at that height two and a half somersaults above the board just a little bit of splash in the entry, but a great dive I was like a foot back from the end and I'm like oh shit McCormick and Debbie Fuller of Canada. McCormick is virtually a, a photo finish at this point through eight rounds. And Megan Nyer has been leading off the rounds, diving first. Is that an advantage or a disadvantage, Phil? Well, in a way, it's a disadvantage because she has to go first and set the stage for everybody else. She's made the, the mark for everyone else to follow, but she doesn't have to have the opportunity to see what they've done to know. But with McCormick and Nyer today, it's just been, can you top this? I'll do a great dive, can you? And she's done a great dive, too, each time along the way. And the fun part about the finals is they're doing the same optional dives in the same order. This time, it's a reverse two and a half somersaults pike, a 3.0 degree of difficulty. The hardest dive either of them will use in competition. Oh, no. That's a first miss by either of them. But again, McCormick has the same dive later in a round. It's a tough dive. All they have to be off is a fraction of a second in their timing. Nyer is kind of the hard luck story in women's diving. She qualified first for the 1980 Olympic team. Of course, that didn't go. She was the 82 world champion, but missed out on the 84 Olympics and the 86 world championships. 84 and 86, she did the same thing. 86, that exact dive cost her a berth on the 86 world team. You watch what happens in the takeoff. Everything looks great right here. Let go just a little bit early. Boom, on her back. Fraction of a second off. That's all it takes. Unfortunate timing for Nyer in the ninth round. And let's go to poolside. And John Neighbor with a very special guest. John? 
Thanks, Jim. We're down here at poolside. Greg Leganis has come to watch the women's three-meter springboard. And you know, you've watched Megan Nyer and Patty or Kelly McCormick go head-to-head -head on numerous occasions. How do you rate this battle? Well, it's a good battle. Megan just had a missed uh, reverse ten half pike, landed a little bit short, uh, opening the door right to Kelly McCormick. So, you know, it's it's always difficult rivalry. They're both about of equal talent, and they they're both doing the same dive. So it's Com coming this far with three rounds to go. They've been within one or two points of each other the entire day. Uh, of course, this will open up the door. But do you think we'll see more consistency for the rest of the competition? Well, I think it's going to be, um, it, it has been a very consistent contest so far between Megan and, and Kelly. And so, you know, it'll come down to the last dive, I'm sure. Well, how do you compare this competition with other major international diving events? Well, major international competitions, um, Kelly and Meg are up there. You know, um, Megan was world champion and, and Kelly was... Uh, was silver medalist in in LA and so they're you know they're tough competitors well thanks for your insight we'll be looking forward to watching you dive a little bit later on so that's it for the pool deck for now we'll go back up to Jim Nance Jim thank you John and Greg Luganis will compete tomorrow in the men's springboard next Sunday we'll have him live in the men's platform competition Megan Nyer and Kelly McCormick locked in a duel we're in the ninth round and we'll come back for the conclusion of the women's the standings through eight rounds Megan Nyer leading by a point over Kelly McCormick, but again, Nyer has missed her dive essentially here in the ninth round. Many people know her mother, Patty McCormick, a four-time gold medal winner, and here in attendance today. Same dive that Nyer did. Better than Nyer's, but didn't step in and close the door completely. There's two dives left in the competition. We still have a competition. She's looking for the scores. You can see six and a halves and sevens. Patty McCormick in red looking on, and that'll give McCormick a 21-point lead. You can see her coach round. giving her all the details, what she did on that one. Watch the difference is... McCormick in this dive is quicker than Nyer. She's got the somersault done higher and actually over-rotates just a fraction. You can see her coming at us, somersaulting back the other direction. Look how high the somersault's finished. She is powerful and quick. We got it, Mark? There's Kelly McCormick with Debbie Fuller. One round left in the competition. <laughs> now, what must Megan Nyer do here? Their final attempt, Phil. Concentration. She's got to divorce herself from the crowd, from the rest of the competition, and from what she did in the past, and put a great dive in and put the pressure on. She has been training nonstop for a year. She told us she has not been home in over a year, and she's leaving from the Pan Am Games to go back to Ashland, Kentucky, to visit with family this week. And maybe put a little too much pressure on herself to come back and win. But her final dive is her bread and butter dive. This one, even when she's had her ups and downs, she very rarely misses, and will put the pressure back on McCormick. 21 point separation. But Megan remember, Nair. with these dives at 2.8 degree of difficulty, 2.9 degree of difficulty, a 20 point turnaround is very possible. Eight national titles for University of Florida. I guess you can't do any better than that. Eight NCAA titles, eight in a row. That's all you can do. There's, eight, all, there's eight. two events in NCAA competition. This is a back one and one half somersaults with two and one half twists. great for a final dive. Again, that's going to be eight, eight and a half. McCormick's going to have to miss for, say, sixes to make this contest uh, change hands. Right on the money there, Phil. Eight, eight point fives and nine will go out from the American judge as well as the seven point five from the Cuban judge. Sixty nine points for Megan Iyer on this dive, Phil. Total of five forty four, which is a great ten dive total. Watch she start somersaulting. 
two and a half twists and straight in. Just a little bit of splash at the bottom. So Megan Nyer comes through in the final round after missing in round nine, and Kelly McCormick will be back to defend her title after this. Well, 21 points was the difference coming into the 10th round here at the women's three-meter springboard. Nyer has already attempted her 10th dive. Kelly McCormick warming up, still waiting to go. She'll need 48 points, a little more than 48 points, Bill, to win it. That's from the judges' sixes. She gets all sixes, and it's a lock, but the contest isn't a lock. She has got a very difficult last dive, and it all depends on how good she gets off the diving board. And here she is. It's a reverse one and one half somersaults with two and one half twists. She's going to walk down in a forward approach, somersault back towards the board with two and a half twists. There's your winner. That was great. Megan Iyer looks on. Kelly McCormick will win the gold medal. Mom Patty. United States hopes for 1988. And if they both dive like that in 88, they should should be medalists again. Watch the takeoff. This is all important in this dive. It's getting on the end of the board and up in the air, and she's got the dive done above the board. Let's take a look at Megan Nyer now watching as McCormick attempts the final dive and winning dive. She knew as soon as she saw it. There was no doubt. So Kelly McCormick, 25, out of Long Beach, California, now living in Columbus and attending Ohio State University, has won the gold medal here in the women's springboard. That's her father's. Let's take it back to the studio right now, Phil Boggs, and here's Brent Musburger. Yeah, marvelous moment over there for Kelly McCormick. That's Right now, we're standing with the winner of the women's three-meter springboard, Kelly McCormick. Congratulations. Your score, 564, absolutely demolished the previous Pan Am record held by you. Your, your feelings about your own performance today? Um, I'll take it. I was consistent. I was verticality is the name of the game. I lit on my head ten times, and I'm really happy with it. Now, the door was opened for you in the ninth round when Megan missed her reverse two and a half. Did you see that happen? Did you realize that was an um, opportunity? No, I was in the bathroom when it happened, and I just, I don't really watch anybody else. I just try and do what I can do, and, and then when the smoke clears, see what happens. Which one dive were you most proud of? Uh, all of them. It takes ten. Well, that's the important thing, I guess. Congratulations for you. Thank you very much. The final standings, of course. McCormick is the winner, and Megan Nyer is second place. Canadians got the third place medal, and we'll go back to the studio and Brent Musburger. All right. So Kelly McCormick wins the first gold medal here in swimming and diving competition, defending her title from 1983 when she took the gold in Caracas, Venezuela. McCormick with the gold, Megan Nyer of the United States, the silver, and Debbie Fuller of Canada collects the bronze. Sold out crowd of 4,500 on hand at the Indiana University Auditorium, where later today five swimming finals will take place. But the spotlight now belongs to Kelly McCormick. There will be three more diving competitions here the women's platform, the men's springboard, and the men's platform. And it's expected that Americans will collect gold in all three of those events as well. Of course, Luganis favored in the men's competition, both events. And in the women's platform, Phil, I guess it would have to be Michelle Mitchell. Michelle Mitchell was World Platform Diver of the Year and is outstanding and is rounding back into that championship form and should be expected to win here and should be expected to medal, if not win, in the Olympics in 88. McCormick and Nyer have been going head-to-head -head for over nine years. And the difference today really came down to one dive in the ninth round. Jim, it was one of consistency, and this is very exciting and very encouraging for the United States. Kelly did not miss a single dive. She does that, and the Olympics could end up with the same medal. Kelly, incidentally, will be leaving soon for the Soviet Union, where a team of U.S. divers will be competing against the Soviet Union's in a dual meet. She says she's looking forward to that traveling experience. 
says she will compete one more year and when asked about competing past the 1988 Olympics she said no nope. <laughs> <laughs> pretty tough training that they have to go through they do running they do aerobics and everything else to get in shape there she is your gold medal champion Kelly McCormick <laughs> Dr. Robert Hamlet President of the U.S. Olympic Committee presenting the gold medal to McCormick. When Megan was pressed about competing next year in 88, she said she wasn't sure, but you have to think, Bill, she has uh, Olympic hopes. She's pushed hard to make a comeback after not making the team in 84, and I think inside she's looking forward to 88, although on the outside she says nothing's guaranteed. Debbie Fuller, who pressed the Americans in this competition and collects the bronze. This moment here belongs to Kelly McCormick. So a one-two finish for the United States in the women's springboard competition. <laughs> Kelly McCormick winning as she did in 1983. Megan Iyer collects the silver and Fuller with the bronze. We'll be back later today with five finals in swimming competition.